While you get films like Elemental bombing at the box office, Pixar pretty much uh, at risk. Star Wars continuing to decline. The Walt Disney Company is doubling down on everything that is causing their own destruction. They have renewed the Activist series, The Proud Family, louder and prouder for a third season. If you're unfamiliar with this series, it is the one that is directed by the radical activist Latoya Ravenu, who infamously declared that she was putting in her not-so-secret gay agenda into the show targeted at young children. And she was doing it without anyone giving her any pushback or telling her, hey, maybe you should cool it on that. She was uh, basically just go doing it willy-nilly. Uh, and then not only is she part of that show, but the show really uh, garnered attention with the second season uh, when they did a number of just apparatchik, hardcore, leftist-leaning episodes pushing the most left ideology you can think of out there. Um, for example, in the second season's third episode of the series, core cast of kids perform a slam of poetry number, espousing their debate team stance that the United States government should pay reparations to black people in order to apologize for once subjecting them to the practice of slavery. Slaves built this country. The team at one point proclaimed the descendants of slaves continue to build it. And we, the descendants of slaves in America, have earned reparations for their suffering and continue to earn reparations Every moment we spend submerged in a systemic prejudice, racism, and white supremacy that America was founded with and still has not atoned for. So the show is literally trying to indoctrinate kids into saying that America is a systemic prejudice, racism, and white supremacy. Like, utterly ridiculous. Look around. Uh, that is not the case. Uh, anyone who has eyes to see will see that that is not true. But anyways, they're literally trying to brainwash young children into believing this and thinking that this is indeed the country that they live in, when in fact it is not. You also had in the season's 10th episode, the series' resident activist character, a uh, title explicitly given to her by Disney. Maya leads a Black Lives Matter protest demanding the removal of a statue depicting Smithsville's founder due to his history as a slave owner. Eventually, the town's mayor, Wizard Kelly, calls on a squadron of riot police to arrest the protesters. In turn, the activists respond with the chant often heard at real-world Black Lives Matter events. We don't see no riot here. Why are you in riot here? As the officers move in to arrest the kids, Maya's black father can even be told telling his white husband, do something with your white privilege. So they're obviously also promoting uh, gay marriage. Uh, as well as Black Lives Matter protests, encouraging the rioting that we saw in 2020, which many of those protests turned into nights of rage afterwards, lots of looting, people being shot and killed, people being attacked, all kinds of destruction and mayhem. And this is exactly the kind of thing that the Walt Disney Company is now promoting for a third season. If you thought that they were going to be changing their Ways at all? Absolutely not. They might be cutting shows, but they're still pushing the propaganda and shows that they think that they can sell to an audience.